Hey crew, I'm going to do a quick demonstration on taping down paper to your drafting board. Uh, first thing you should have done is grabbed your drafting board from where they're being stored, bring it over to your station, and hang them on the divider wall with the two metal hooks on the top edge of that drafting board. Uh, really, a good practice each day is to clean your drafting board to make sure all of the lead and smudges are off and doesn't get your paper dirty that way. And you can even bring your slides up to the middle of the drafting board and with some paper towel clean the bottom of them if you lift this just a little bit. Once that's done, first major thing you need to do is make sure that this slide is parallel to the board. And what we do there is we bring it all the way to the bottom and we check the two cable anchor points of where that happens. And that slide should be touching on both sides. If it is not, and there's an example of not, bring it down, it is only touching on the one side. I just firmly pull down on the other side as long as all the knobs are loose. Sorry, make sure all the knobs are loose on your drafting board. You bring this down and you just firmly pull each side so it's touching the cable locks. Uh, just never slam them down, please. The cable locks or cable clamps can be broke off pretty easily. Okay. But as long as we're touching both sides, we're ready to go. Uh, we need a piece of paper, obviously, like that. And we need a little bit of tape. Let's go ahead. You know, the color varies at any given time of the year. I'm gonna take a chunk of tape. I'm gonna tear it in half. I'm gonna tear each of those pieces in half. And now we have four pieces of tape that are pretty close in size. And I like to just set mine down here on this metal ridge so that they're ready to go when I'm going to use them. All right, we bring the slide up about four inches off the bottom works nice. Uh, just to make sure you have some room to move your slide off the paper. And then what you're going to do is hold down on the slide. And, and you can try to use this clear edge if you'd like. But the reality is that there's a ridge under the black that's a lot easier to use. And we're just going to make sure that that paper is down nice and flat. It's not crooked at all. Pull that down until it touches evenly, and then I can hold down on here and here with one hand, and then tape off an upper corner, getting that tape nice and flat, and without moving, we'll do the other upper right away, <clears throat> just like that. Drop the slide, pull down and out to one corner, tape that off, and pull down and out to this corner tape that corner off and then just take that little bit of extra time to make sure your tape is really nice and flat so your slide does not hit it when you're moving this around and that's it paper is ready to go all the lines that you draw on here now should be parallel to the edge of the paper because the paper is based off the slide based off the cable locks and we're all set um, when you move your slide when you move your slide, a good tip for you is to actually lift this up a little bit when you're doing major movements, okay? I'm gonna lift that up a little bit for major movements, put it down, little movements are fine while it touches, but lift for big ones because it'll avoid you catching the tape. And second is once you start getting a lot of lines on your paper, you will not smudge them nearly as bad. Okay? And then when you're done, you wanna just carefully untape the paper and I would like to start on this edge here and carefully pull out towards the corner. You're just less likely to tear your paper. Just like so. And then you can store that till the next day. Thanks for watching.